Well, there are no signs protesters or federal agents are backing down as tensions mount between the two in downtown Portland. Now, overnight, some of the largest groups that they have classed with uh, law enforcement we saw. Elise Haas joins us live from downtown this morning with an update. Elise. Jenny, federal, federal agents used tear gas on protesters again last night after it was the largest crowd that the city and our reporters have seen in recent weeks. They gathered at Southwest 3rd and Main, which is that street that's right between the Justice Center and the federal courthouse. So Portland police are reporting that protesters had weapons like hammers and were throwing bottles, and that was what was leading up to the tear gas being used. But our reporters were on scene around midnight last night, and that's when they saw protesters facing off with federal agents outside of the federal courthouse. And authorities used pepper balls, they used flashbangs, and they used tear gas in response to protesters banging on the courthouse and tampering with plywood. Around 1 o'clock this morning, Portland police started tweeting out asking people to avoid the area after federal law enforcement started using that tear gas. By 1.30 this morning, Corn 6 News witnessed some protesters cheering and throwing items at the courthouse. Federal officers responded by shooting pepper balls from inside of the building. Unlike previous nights, there was no fence around the federal courthouse keeping people at a distance yesterday. It's unclear if there were any arrests. Now, coming back out here live, I first want to show you this. This is what I found on the ground, which kind of appears to be uh, an M80 firework. I'm not a you know, I'm not, I don't know much about fireworks, but I uh, compared them online. Um, Portland police are also reporting th some damage overnight, like City Hall. You can see here there is some glass shattered. You can walk with me this way. You'll see the front door of City Hall as well. And then there's also a window around here that was smashed too. So these are just some signs that are new from overnight. And on top of that, Portland police are also reporting that there was a jewelry store that was broken into last night and possibly items stolen. So we're going to head that way in downtown Portland and figure out what else we can find. But for now reporting live, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Thank you, Elise. Last night was the third